today we're doing a range test with the F-150 Lightning with this little 4x8 trailer. Um, what I've got here is I've got 17 blocks loaded up in there. They're about 63 pounds a piece. Menards gave me a weight of 1,071 when I purchased them. I did weigh one block and it turned out to be uh, about a pound less than what they were saying. Um, so maybe that's an average. I don't know. So this is to depict um, if you have a trailer like this and you have maybe a four-wheeler or you're stuffing a snowmobile in here. And yeah, 1,071 is more than what those items would weigh individually on this trailer. Um, but that's the... I want to accommodate for some wind resistance that I'm not going to have with a higher profile load on here. Um, I know it's not very scientific, but that's what we've got. So we've got approximately 1,071 pounds on the trailer, and we're going to go for a drive. And it is approximately uh, 15 degrees out. The truck says it's 22. We are... It does say the range is 114 at 100 percent that's because i have the trailer already programmed into this now remember this is the standard range f-150 lightning so i'm gonna put the charger away and we're gonna go for a ride and see what happens all right so we're rolling down the road now and you know i really like this screen i like that it has these camera views it's nice to be able to see your trailer back there Although it does, it does seem like that, that camera is always a little dirty. Um, get a, it's always got something on it. Anyway, I guess small complaint. Um, so we're at 111 miles of range, went 1.6 miles. It says we're using 1.1 or 1.1, 1.0 miles per kilowatt hour with the trailer on and reading 17 degrees down there. So we're going to see how far we reasonably can get down the road with uh, this truck and trailer. And uh, so that way I don't have to, you know, um, charge someplace um, because there's not any chargers where we're headed. So <laughs> hopefully nothing goes wrong and I don't have to bang on the door of uh, friends or family members to borrow some electricity I don't think that's going to be the case um, and we do have it in tow haul mode right now um, and look look at that our miles per kilowatt hour are going up I am going 56 miles an hour um, it's telling me to watch the road because I'm <laughs> I got the cruise set and the lane keep on anyway I am watching the road I assure you this um, anyway um, this the screen is this funky color because we have tow haul on and um, it that takes away your your uh, one pedal drive which I like the one pedal drive and I can understand why it does that so we'll see how this works and I, I assume that tow haul is gonna give the best like algorithm mathematics for trying to do the best job possible with towing but I could be wrong give me a comment if you uh, know otherwise all right, so we'll check back a little bit later down the road. So here we go. We're on a straight right now. Um, we're going to get into some hills a little bit later, a lot of curves, um, as long as we can go as far as I think we can. And um, that way we have a good mix of what is going on with, you know, if you're towing a light load behind your F-150 Lightning standard range battery pack. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I just got out to check the trailer and I accidentally shut the truck off, so it reset my mileage and uh, energy usage, but yeah, the range is at 108, so we haven't gone far. I will uh, update that the total mileage at the end of the video with where I pulled off on the side of the road according to Google Maps, and we'll go from there. Now you can see that we're hitting some windy roads here uh, that are mostly snow covered. I mean, lightly snow covered, I should say. Lightly snow covered. So, um, here we go. Uh, we haven't obviously gone far and it's working out. Give you a little bit more footage down the road. Hey! 
Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life Alright, we're a little further down the road, not a whole lot um, Since I reset, had to reset the trip, or what, since it automatically reset um, you know, 5.5 miles, but I don't have to show you that we've got, you know, a fair amount of hills going through here. Um, you know, to kind of, and I'll, I'll put the camera on the dash when we start going through the hills, up the hills. Um, and I did do a decent hill a little ways back, but it was pretty slow speed, so... Um, no longer have the cruise set because of the snow that's on the back roads and that type of thing. So, and we do have the temperature in the truck set to 68 degrees. And it's now showing 14 degrees for the outside temperature. Now, obviously, the range dips quite a bit um, in the winter. Um, compared to, you know, like when you're not towing, you get the total range of, at 100% charge of 230 miles. Um, so, obviously, putting the trailer on takes that down. Like I said, when we started out, I believe it started out at 114 miles on the range, where before I plugged the trailer into the truck, it was at 230. So, um, I guess we'll see what happens here. So... I guess this isn't too big of a hill, um, but we'll be going through a few of them. So the truck is not, I mean, that's a small trailer. It's a light load for an F-150, any F-150. Um, so, you know, I really don't know that the trailer is there other than a few noises. But, yeah, it really doesn't, that bar on the left, uh, right next to the lightning bolt there, that shows how much, you know, kind of power we're consuming, how much, you know, if I step on it, see how it jumps up. Now I'm letting off, and it goes down. Um, it wasn't really consuming a lot more energy going up the hill. Um, these electric trucks do not struggle um, going up hills. It's effortless. There's no drama to it. Revving up, downshifting. Um, you know, obviously it's not going to downshift, but in a gas-powered truck or a diesel truck sometimes there's a lot of dramatics especially if you step on it in the middle of the hill you don't have that here um that's kind of a cool thing so anyway as you can see we've got some more up and down here so check back in a little bit so something interesting is that my range has been at 91 miles of range for a while now. I don't have the exact mileage, but it's been a little bit of time. So I think the computer has overestimated how much range the trailer would take with its weight and size. Um, you know, it is kind of a low profile, and you know, it, there's not anything sticking out on the left or right side of the truck. It's not taller than the truck. It's not above, you know, the box in the back like you would get with like a travel trailer like a camper or something um so you know with what i have this is as best of an estimate as i can get with i don't have a four-wheeler to put on the back or a snowmobile to put on the back or nor do i have like a travel trailer to do a little bit of a test with now i see it just went down to 90 but it's going down slower than what we're putting on mileage so um, I guess we'll see how it continues to go here. But, um, so far, um, I'm feeling pretty good, you know, with how this is working. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we are...
pulling up to my destination, the world famous hamburger house in Dundee, Wisconsin. They are not a sponsor. Um, but anyway, this is, when I Google Maps this last night, it was a little over 30 miles away from my house. This says we've went 24.4 um, using, you know, our average right now is 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour, 88 miles range. We started out at 114 miles range after I put on the trailer. Now keep in mind, um, when I said this says 24.4, we did make that stop to check on the trailer and I accidentally shut the truck off. So when I turn around now, and I'm gonna go back the same way, we're gonna take a look, I'm gonna to go to a different trip uh, gauge and I'm gonna reset it and try and get the exact mileage when I get back to my house. So, so far, if you take a look at this bar on the right hand side, that's how much battery I have. And I'm gonna see if I can get to um, one of these things that's gonna show me what the actual percentage is. Here we go. Oops, that one I want. I don't know why. Oh, here, it's gonna change here. And then it's gonna show the percentage. 80% battery yet. So we used 20% of the battery since we, since we started. So far, so good with this. All right, I'm gonna check back in just a little okay, bit. Okay, so this is where we stopped to check the trailer uh, right away. Um, so I'm going to go to, oh, we can do this trip, um, trip one, and I'm going to reset it here. And now we're going to go from, we're going to add what this has got when we get back onto the one that says this trip. And I'm just going to note right now, 48.9 miles. So just in case I mess it up again, I can know what to add so there we go we'll check back at the end of the video here when I get back home okay so we've completed the trip I'm back at home now we're back on trip we're on trip one that I had to add the mileage that I missed I'm um, sorry my radar detect my radar detector is going off um, anyway 5.9 miles is what we lost when we when I shut the truck off to check the trailer. So if I go to this trip, so 54.9 plus 5.9, we went 60.8 miles round trip. We started with 114 miles of range uh, and it says it's down to 63. So, a hundred and hundred and fourteen subtract sixty three. So it says so according to the range we went fifty we lost fifty one miles. So I want to check that again. Um fifty one miles according to the range, but we had fifty four point nine plus five point nine equals sixty point eight. Okay, but we only, we went 60.8 miles, but we lost 51 miles of range. So um, I guess that's a, we'll call that a win. Um, so we did, the range did pretty good with having the little trailer on the back with over a thousand pounds in the back. Um, that did great. So if I go over here and I go ahead and go to towing, and let's see if we can take this uh, trailer out. Um, no active trailer. Okay, so now it bumped my range up to uh, 128 miles. And 
if I can go through here and see exactly what um, what my battery percentage is at. I wish they would make this easier to do on here with trying to yes that's the one I want but there we go okay so let's see what it says sorry about that as it loads here 60 percent so we were at 80 percent when we got to the hamburger house in Dundee that's where we turned around at and now we lost another 20 percent so we're that, that was 20% each way. So, you know, I think this is pretty good because now I unhooked the trailer and now I got 128 miles of range left um, on the truck. Um, and yeah, this worked out really well. Uh, like I said, I'll try and do a range test with uh, the weight just in the back of the truck and uh, maybe one on some more on some regular flat ground with the trailer. So there we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, please uh, help me out and hit like if uh, you, this was the video was a, uh, a little bit interesting for you. Uh, you know, if you want, subscribe. That would be great. That would greatly help uh, my efforts. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Have have a good day. Thanks for watching.